it's harvest time here, but instead weeds are quickly spreading over more than five square kilometers once covered with rice, yam, corn and cassava. This is Tiamu, a small community of farmers near the banks of River Benue and one of many here severely hit by the flooding. Phoebe Jumai planted rice on 40,000 square meters. Not a single crop made it. We invest all the money that we have in the farm, hoping that this season we are going to harvest something better. But at the end of the day, we say it is God that make it to be like this. It is difficult for us. Without her expected harvest, food is in short supply for her and her 10 children. They've been left to survive on these weeds. After the floods go, so nothing could come up again. We now discover that these leaves started coming up. The destruction was caused by heavier than usual rainfalls from July and in September, Cameroon released even more water from its Lado Dam. Nigerian authorities say the only agreement they had with Cameroon was in 2016, when the Cameroon government was to give prior warning before opening their floodgates. But Nigerian officials say that didn't happen this year. The Ministry of Humanitarian Affairs estimates 3.2 million people have been affected across 34 out of 36 states. Benue, in particular, was already battling a shaky food supply caused by a land dispute between farmers and herders. But farmers blame the government for not honoring an agreement to build a dam that could hold the waters from Cameroon, and they want to be compensated. Adaji Pele planted more than 1.7 square kilometers of rice before the floods and has yet to recover. Assuming the flood didn't affect the farm, we used to harvest up to, up to five, 500,000 bags of rice. By January, by God's grace, we are trying to do dry season farming. That is, we, we, dig, we were planning to dig a canal from the Babenwe to water the farm. So that would be help us, but our challenge is, is finance. Benue State authorities say they are helping farmers with new seedlings and educating them on planting methods to shield against future disasters. We are going to at least um, provide some palliatives to some of these farmers in form of seeds and other agricultural inputs, if not free, at highly subsidized rate. And I think the SEMA is working towards that direction. Already, the federal government has uh, started distributing some rice seeds to some of the affected uh, communities. But many people say unless the government constructs a dam or builds dike systems around coastal areas, it's only a matter of time before farmers pay the price again in the coming year. Timothy Obiezu, TRT World, Makodi, Benue State, Nigeria.